Okay, that's the sound of compressed air. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just move this back and forth for you, okay? So what's happening there is uh, in that model, we're, we're controlling how the air is actually going through these green tubes and the black tube and the blue tube. And by controlling the air going through these different tubes at different times, you're able to actually uh, shift the dynamic of the kinetic uh, elements. Chico McMurtry has spent the past 20 years exploring how to make robotics organic. The artistic director of Amorphic Robot Works is focused on creating a new dialogue between man, machine, and architecture. His inflatable architectural growth premiered last year in Shanghai and was presented by Zero One at the recent Fine Arts Festival in San Francisco. The sculpture, which consists of large arches growing out of organic hemispheric forms, will be installed during the biennial in public space along South 1st Street in downtown San Jose. But the biennial will be different. McMurtry will have a window of time to involve the public. He'll get input on programming both the sequencing and the interactive components of the installation to generate a wide range of movements and percussive sounds from a complex geometrical architecture that appears to be breathing. There'll be moments when it'll be quite interactive and there'll be moments when it's just simply performing uh, it, it on its own and there'll be moments when it's completely dormant. And the idea when it's completely dormant is it just looks like a, a pile of organic matter. Um, you, you, in theory, shouldn't have an, any idea as to what it actually would be capable of doing when you see it, because it looks sort of like a pile of, um, a, a, a pile of organs or a plate of, of tubular spaghetti or something of that nature. Um, so you don't suspect it to be able to do ultimately what um, it, is, it is, in fact, capable of doing. So the idea is once you come up as an audience member or you come with your two or three friends, you can actually... Um, interact with this machine and get it to do things where it's actually moving, moving uh, freely with you within its constraints. McMurtry and his team will lead a 10-day workshop prior to the biennial, similar to one he held this summer in Macedonia. Not only will participants have an opportunity to breathe life into the major installation, they'll also work on the prototyping, machining, and testing of a new inflatable that will hopefully be installed in out of the garage into the world. Probably the, the biggest benefit of working with me is, is that you get an opportunity to work on a, very, um, on a very intensive level, seeing something from an idea, from a drawing, go all the way to like uh, an automated sculpture, an automated entity, something, something actually comes to life. You go through the process of learning every step. So more importantly is you get an opportunity to see something realized that's often quite big and, and quite difficult to put together on a short duration. But more often than not, maybe you learn something about something that interests you personally, but to get a chance to see something put together with a group of people is, is quite exciting because sometimes you end up uh, connecting with those people and collaborating at another time. The Macedonian students are now working on their first robotic sculpture for an October exhibition, and they had never even met. I think a good fit for, for the workshop would be young people who are interested in, in building robotics for the first time and also people who have, have, have experience in building robotics but would really like to see a large-scale thing manifested. So people who have had experience with sewing fabric, people who have had experience building sculpture and would like to see things automated, people who have had experience with electronics and computing and for that matter enthusiastic people who are interested in learning a little bit about all of that, they're also quite welcome. McMurtry says his work is aimed at trying to make people believe that living shapes made from rubber, metal, and fabric can come alive, even for a few moments. He says the biennial is a perfect place for that to happen. The Zero One Festival is, is, is a, a fantastic format that um, America, the U.S., uh, the northern uh, part of the world has needed desperately because, I mean, artists from, from uh, the Bay Area, New York area are often going to Europe, They're going to Europe to find this kind of a place that's willing to uh, bring their work, produce their work, 
make something in this new genre, new media, uh, possible for, for them. So it's a fantastic opportunity, fantastic festival. What's great is it's, 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 it's extraordinarily expansive. This is like out in the physical space, and literally that's, that seems to be what it's about. But for me, it's, it's ideal. The 2010-01 SJ Biennial runs September 16th through 19th in venues throughout downtown San Jose and in satellite locations in Silicon Valley and San Francisco. For more on the 01 SJ Biennial, visit 01sj.org. The 01 SJ Biennial is produced by 01, the Art and Technology Network. Thank you.